What's up guys, so we're back with another book review, an episode of If You Judge Us By Its Cover, which is just really a cheesy thing I came up with to put on the top of these. But I'm going to keep using it anyway, even though I don't really say it much in the actual book. Um, I did consider stopping these because they don't get as much circulation as the others, but I decided not to do that because books are something I love. Our channel, we want to share what we love with the world, and so the book reviews will continue. Um... We are working on getting a new camera, so, you know, hopefully that'll change the fact that I'm usually holding the camera. We're gonna figure it out. Um, and so, figured while I'm sitting here, just sort of killing time, I'm gonna review this book for you. It's called Black and White and Dead All Over. Am I the only one that thinks that John Darton here was trying to go for a dad joke in the title? No? Please tell me in the comments. Anyways, so this book... Um, oh, one more thing I did want to mention. I'm no longer going to be doing the star system. I'm just going to tell you what I think, because... You know, it's hard to rate things on a star system, and I just... I'm going to give you my review, and hopefully... That gives you some insight into whether or not you would like to read this book. Alright, back to the review. So, um, first things first, I am going to, this book wound up being 351 pages long, and it was a good book, really slow, kind of, actually, but let me, before we get into all of that, let me read you the description, or the synopsis, I guess would be a better word. Bad news is brewing in the inner sanctum of the New York Globe, the city's long-standing newspaper of note whose back is to the wall. Readership, advertising, and circulation are plummeting along with the paper's va vaunted standards and the cost cutters have their knives out, but trouble of a wholly different kind begins one rainy September morning when a powerful editor is found murdered in the newsroom with the spike that he'd wielded to kill stories hammered into his chest. The problem for Priscilla Bolingsworth, the young, ambitious female NYPD detective assigned to the case, besides the fact that the mayor is breathing down her neck and that there's too many suspects to choose from. She teams up with Jude Hurley, a clever, rebellious reporter, and together they navigate the ink-infested waters of those who whose denizens include papers revent resentful old guard, scheming careerist, a bumbling publisher, and a steely executive editor, and a ri rival editor tycoon named Lester Mullock, and the waters thickened considerably when more bodies turned up dead all over. And so, that's the description for they go into how well the author did this. Now here's the thing. is a very good book. That was my phone going off, sorry. Very good book interesting read. It was a little on the slow side. It had a lot of random things on there that had it been tied together well, it would have completed the story. However, when it got to the end and the whodunit was revealed, basically every single other thing except for the murders that happened in the book was irrelevant. It was random. And it was like, I'm not going to tell you who the killer was. No, it was not a random killer, but everything else was irrelevant. And I just didn't like that. And It was a good book. Slow read. Would definitely read it again. However, not a fan of the ending. So I think John Darton had something really good going for him here. He just didn't take it as far as he could. And maybe that's just because of the style of writing he comes from. He is, in fact... A former journalist and that's mentioned in his writing um, synopsis after the end of the actual story synopsis also the thing is it makes it sound in the description as if the story is about um, Priscilla Bolingsworth the truth is she's just a supporting character Jude Hurley is the main character of this book if there is one at all um, so good book but it didn't do completely what it could have. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment. Tell me what you think, what you don't think. Tell me your opinions. Tell me if you read the book, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Tell me books you want to hear reviewed, what I'm doing right, 
what I'm doing wrong, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, check out our main vlog videos, um, and thank you, as always, for watching, so we'll see you soon.